you meant it for evil to harm me, but God meant it for good to save many lives. Friends, tough times never seem to have any purpose, especially when we are in the thick of them. What good, we ask, can possibly come of this? But those words, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good, that's what Joseph said to his brothers decades after they had sold him into slavery and he was now ruler over Egypt under Pharaoh. So there they were, God's chosen family, desperately seeking his help to survive a devastating drought. And there he was, Joseph, God's chosen servant, in the perfect position at just the right time to help and to provide for them. Joseph had learned some tough but important lessons in prison over the years. First they sold him into slavery, and then he got a lucky break and served as head slave in the household of a prominent member of Pharaoh's cabinet. And then he got falsely accused and landed up in jail for many years. He almost got another lucky break. He interpreted the dream of a fellow prisoner from Pharaoh's court who got released. But sadly, the guy totally forgot about Joseph. Then the famine struck and there was no one to interpret Pharaoh's dream, except the man remembered a forgotten prisoner in one of Pharaoh's jails. God had Joseph exactly where he wanted him to be, and God had gifted him with just the leadership abilities and vision to guide Egypt and the entire region through this crisis. God had turned Joseph's tragedy into a great triumph, one that extended well beyond only blessing him. His suffering had set him up to be a blessing to Egypt, a blessing to his family, and a blessing to all the surrounding nations and peoples. God did the same for us through Jesus on Easter. He was falsely accused, unfairly tried, and unjustly sentenced to death. The powers of darkness thought they had won. Instead, they had dealt themselves a death blow. What they had intended for evil, God used for good by making Jesus a perfect sacrifice of atonement, bringing peace between God and us and releasing the promise of a new and better life for all. So friends, COVID-19 may feel like a terrible setback. It can feel like time wasted, an opportunity lost, even a move backward. However, God can use it to refine us and to achieve greater things for us and through us than we can ever imagine. So let me pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you can redeem all things and bring great good out of bad situations. Oh, Jesus, help us to rest in the peace that you won through the pain of Calvary's cross on Good Friday and your resurrection power on Easter Sunday. Amen.